Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today we're going to do another episode of Movie Spotlight, and today I'm going to talk about a movie that I actually lost a bet on, and that is The Book of Eli, starring Denzel Washington, Gary Oldman, and Mia Kunis. And this, uh, th this, this, and I'll, uh, I'll get the bet story uh, later on after I talk about some stuff with the film. Um, but basically, The Book of Eli is, it, it's an action movie, but it's post-apocalypse, and it it works. It works for what it is because Denzel Washington. Uh, this again, this is post uh, Man on Fire, uh, and you know, post a lot of his. I think it, this is post Equalizer as well, um, and a lot of his big action roles. So people still knew him very well as an action star at this point or a point in time. You know, he was still doing a, a good amount of action movies. Um, so you know, he, he carries this movie. He carries this movie amazingly. Um, I love the the way that he plays the character of Eli and the kind of the the sort of like he's very genuine. the The character the, the character of Eli himself is very genuine. He he doesn't really uh, he he doesn't fool or deceive anybody. But at the same time, he is a badass. I can do badass things. He has a nice machine. He has a really good machete. I think he has a shotgun at one point, and uh, I know he has a pistol as well and a few other smaller things. Um, but he has this, like, really nice, like, extra sharp custom machete that he just guts, like, three or four people with under this highway overpass at the beginning of the movie. Um, and I, I enjoy that about it. I think the, the post-apocalyptic style world that they have is interesting because it's kind of like Mad Max without the gas. Um, you know, they, they really don't have a whole lot of... Uh, a, uh, they don't really have a whole lot of gas and uh, and vehicles and stuff like that. The, what few that there are, you know, constantly need to be refilled. Um, I thought that there was some interesting stuff they did. You know, he has a, he has an iPod, which uh, I think I think actually I think he had an iPod or I don't think it was a Zoom. Um, and basically, he brings that to this little like kind of trading post area, this small town, um, and they are charging. Uh, like money or, or trade, fair trade, to actually recharge his items, which I think is kind of hilarious. He offers some, you know, some uh, some moist towelettes, some wipes, and stuff like that, which again are probably very rare at that point in time. Um, it's also fair to note that this is supposed to take place 30 years after an apocalypse, a nuclear apocalypse. Uh, so it is uh, not. Uh, so it, it's it's not like one of those like very clear apocalypse worlds where, like, alright, everything kind of looks sort of similar. It's just, like, desolate wasteland. Um, so I like that about it. Again, I, I think the aesthetic is really good, especially for what it's supposed to be. Um, and then I, I like kind of the overtones of it, because you don't really see a lot of post-apocalyptic movies that have to do with uh, biblical things. Um, and that's really the, the the core of the story because of because of what uh, Eli's mission is, and I'm not going to give away what his mission is because uh, I, I don't want to give away the whole movie for you guys. I, I know that some people out there either you know haven't seen it or maybe want to watch it. Um, and it, but I like the way that he does. Uh, Gary Oldman as Carnegie is a very good antagonist. The only problem I think I would have with him is that he kind of. Um, it's a little anticlimactic what happens to him, but you understand why it happens to him. Um, so I, I like that about it. Um, like I said, I think he does a good job. I think they had like a comic prequel to this at one point too. Um, and then Mia Kunis plays like this, uh, you know, this this young girl uh, in town who's basically the the daughter of this blind servant to Gary Oldman, um, and it's. She does kind of a good job at being sort of going from innocent to, you know, her. she actually probably has the furthest character progression in the film, other than maybe Gary Oldman. Because um, Eli really doesn't change throughout the majority of the film. He's the same person, really, at the beginning of the film as we see at the end of the film. Um, but the the journey itself for him is, is more interesting as you go further down the line. Um... So you know, I like that about it. And now for the uh, now for the actual funny part of this. So at the time when this was coming out, again, this was two thousand and nine. Um, I had seen the this and Avatar, I believe, came out on the same weekend. Um, and what happened with that is is that uh, a friend of mine, uh, I, I said I said Avatar sucked at the beginning. I hate that movie. Um, and. I thought Book of Eli would make more money than it. Yeah, now, and looking at that now, it seems 
incredibly stupid, but just bear with me. Um, and so I bet him 50 bucks that uh, Book of Eli would actually beat uh, Avatar in terms of uh, box office in the opening weekend. Obviously, that did not happen. Um, I then paid my friend $50. I said, okay, now we have to watch both movies and decide which one is better. And I watched Avatar. Um, I wish I hadn't because I, I don't like that movie. I think that movie really sucks. It's kind of a ripoff film. Um, and we watched Book of Eli, and him and I actually both agreed that Book of Eli was the better film, <laughs> uh, which I thought was kind of funny, even though I, even though obviously Avatar be went on to become the highest grossing movie ever at, the, at that point in time. Um, but like I said, it's uh, that that was just kind of a funny little personal story uh, to go along uh, with this. But uh, you know, aside from that, there's not really enough good things that I can say about it because there's not a lot of really good post-apocalypse movies. Uh, you know, past like the year 2000, um, and this one was one that got an A-list actor in it, like Denzel Washington. Again, he was a very hot commodity at the time. He still is to an extent. Uh, Mia Kunis, they they nabbed her early. I think that was not long after her um, that '70s show uh, time. And I actually no, that might have been. I think that was actually before she did Ted, um, or it may have been immediately after. I don't remember. Um, but she was, you know, she was a, she was a known person at the time too. And of course, Gary Oldman, who I think had won an Oscar a couple of years before that. Um, you know, they, they had a lot of, uh, or maybe it was a couple of years after that. And they got it preemptively. I can't remember, but um, you know, they got three really good actors to kind of head this film. And, and again, especially with Denzel Washington, because he's really kind of a majority of that movie um, in terms of you know, the, he, he's he's your main protagonist. He's the guy you're following. Um, and then Mia Kunis kind of just, you know, falls in line eventually, and Gary Oldman's always the antagonist. Um, but like I said, I, I, I enjoy that part of it. Um, I think that the musical score in it, too, is really nice. It's, it's a really fun kind of musical score in terms of, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't say fun because it's very dreary because uh, of the point of it. But, you know, it... Uh, it helps accentuate the environment because most of the environment is this very like brown, you know, dusty world that you would attribute with kind of your standard uh, post-apocalypse setting. Uh, you know, it, it feels exactly like it's kind of like being on the surface of Mars, but Mars has roads. Um, or out in the Mojave Desert or something somewhere where they used to drop nukes. Uh, you know, shit like that. But, um, you know, there's not enough good things I can say about Book of Eli, but I want to know what you think. Um, have you guys ever, ever seen the movie? Uh, do you guys like the movie? Um, you know, would you recommend it? You know, put your thoughts in the comments below, as usual. I like to read them. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you...